There's a major housing dilemma happening in Utah County, specifically in Provo. Now, there are more people there than there are affordable homes. In this special report, ABC 4's Nicole Newman investigates what's keeping some people from finding a place to call home. Gone are the days when a home simply meant a place to lay your head. Housing is no longer a shelter. It's an investment. It's an investment for all of us. Now more than ever, buying a home is becoming more of an opportunity to build wealth. People need to make sure the portfolio is growing and, and make a profit. And so a lot of people have come into, you know, buying real estate. And, you know, it's how we, we gain our wealth. But it's currently a seller's market. Not exactly good news for potential buyers. Many who are still renters and are having a hard time getting into a rental unit. Right now, Utah County's current market rate for a two-bedroom apartment is $892. In order to afford that, a renter would have to earn $16.58 an hour. That's more than two times the current minimum wage. The market is not taking care of it anymore. And we need to figure out, you know, how we can, you know, grow housing, um, especially, you know, at the expense of what it's costing. Tara Rollins is the executive director of the Utah County Housing Coalition. In her county, she details one of the major factors keeping some people from turning the American dream into reality. We're losing units. People are, you know, buying developments and and they're no longer affordable with no subsidy. So they're increasing the rents so people can't afford it. Even with financial help from the government in the form of a subsidy, the housing shortage is leaving those funds untouched. The other thing is because of the lack of units, we do have subsidies that are going unused. You know, our Section 8 vouchers, it's um, people are turning back their vouchers because they just cannot find a place in Utah County to rent. The city of Provo and its residents are feeling the negative impact. We just haven't been building enough units to keep up with the population growth. As Utah's third largest city and the largest city in Utah County, Provo's estimated population is more than 116,000 people. As a comparison, the city's population was just over 105,000 in 2000. That's more than 11,000 residents in roughly 20 years. Robert Vernon, the CEO of the Provo City Housing Authority, says students from Brigham Young and Utah Valley Universities are adding to the problem. We have a lot of college students, and so we have a big population there that, that uh, takes up units. In addition to population issues, Vernon says developers are building units that are driving up the cost of housing, mainly because they're catering to students. An investor will come in and buy a house and maybe put four or five or six students in a house and they can get a lot more money and so they can afford to buy that at a higher price than just a family who would be there just to buy it and live in it. In Utah County, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Nicole. Well, in part two of Nicole's special report on the affordable housing dilemma, she's going to detail new legislation focused on alleviating the problem. We'll have that tomorrow night again right here on ABC4 News at 10.